Eric and Greg are here. I'm here too. Get excited. Hey, everybody. Yeah, hey, everyone. Hey. Everybody, the new Fleet Foxes, I think it's out today. It That's might be out today. You all, you're all hip with the indie music. <laughs> right? The only one who might be. Is it be called be Shore? Indie. It's called Shore. Oh, my God. Is it on Spotify? I don't know. It's 15 songs. That's a lot of songs. It's on Spotify, everybody. I can't wait to hear all those luscious vocal melodies. <laughs> uh, were there how, long, how long has it been since the Fleet Foxes were relevant? Ten Three years? years ago. Were they relevant? <laughs> no, no, they were, though. Because, like, at least oh, every okay. time they release an album, Pitchfork's like, fuck yeah, 9 out of 10. Oh, really? on like like nine out of 10. Yeah, they, they love them. Mm. Okay. Did they love this? Oh, I didn't review it yet, but probably tomorrow. I can't wait to get up and read the review at work. <laughs> that is the spirit. <laughs> that is the spirit, man. Well, so I would, I have to say, this has been a, this has been a pretty, a light week for the hobby, at least in terms of, or. Actually, you know what? I'm saying that, but I haven't even gone to the community web, the community side, so I'm just making that assumption based on what I've seen on Instagram and what people are talking about. Has anyone yeah. looked at the community side? Am I right with that, or is that just... Brad, I looked at the community site probably three or four times this week. That's pretty good. This week, it's only Tuesday. Shit, you caught me in my lie. <laughs> um, no okay since the last time i was on i would yeah. say like three or four times i was interested about the uh battles in middle earth book where they talked about the con don't laugh at me don't laugh at me uh, about you, what you were lying what the what the content would be in it and i think i would maybe purchase that sometime in my life um well i looked to see the arena mortis cards they previewed arena mortis cards and okay. i realized that i don't know what's good in warhammer underworlds anymore How could wait you? did you ever i felt like i had a pretty decent sense back Whoa. in the, the first okay. like i mean we all kind of knew what was kind of good kind of i, I mean i guess did. after playing a few games i mean are they at yeah. their third release the it's, fourth is coming the yeah the fourth is, is coming okay. yeah so uh but now like things are weird and they i don't like, know like do you use your normal cards or is it just all new cards i believe you can use the normal ones so they and you must have a smaller deck of cards yeah i think at the minimums 10 of the uh like um I forget the gear cards, like kind of like the enchantments or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they're called. Um, and then like the the gambits, ten of the gambits, and they're two separate decks. Okay. And um, yeah. So fascinating. Yep. <laughs> what I, they did, like they did, unless I was read the white dwarf rules wrong i think they did change it, some of the stuff a little bit okay. so I, it wasn't just like i don't think it's just a straight reprint which is kind of encouraging that it might not be it's like well, it probably it has some like a board or something in it yeah it's got a board so it, yeah so, i mean that's that's good um and it's not and a Barnes. Barnes and Noble exclusive game. Not a Barnes and Noble exclusive game. That's a plus. <laughs> um, that is a plus. Yeah. Um. Yep. Well, I guess we can get into the hobby happenings section of the stream, and I feel most of my time has been spent working on Blood Bowl models preparing to potentially play blitz bowl um so i finished this one standard player here and there's not really too much that i did with him um 
I modified his helmet slightly, but in this case, I took one of the face masks from a Wood Elf Blood Bowl player and, like, trimmed it down and placed it over the mouth. That's sort of like a mouth guard of sorts, or like a little visor. Mm -hmm. And that's the only modification I did. If you, I think after trimming off a bunch of the extra stuff, I think it looks pretty convincing as like a dark I, elf thing. I really like it. I think it works well. It reminds me of Shredder from the Ninja <laughs> Turtles, doesn't it? He sort of looked yes. like that, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um. So we'll see. Maybe I'll do that for another member to do a similar thing. They have a whole collection of different like face masks. Not all of them look as some look more woodsy than others. Yep. So yeah. Let's see. Okay. Um and so I guess with this model and I also worked on the one witch elf model they have in the thing. So now I have five members assembled. Um so I think I just have to assemble one more lineman and then the Blitzball team's ready. Blitzball. Yeah. Um, and we'll see. I don't There's know. some talk that we're going to actually try to play that. Yeah, it'll be something true? else. I mean, we could, have, if we actually consistently sort of play it on the weekly stream, we can have a short section where we talk about the games. Yeah, that's, that's true. Maybe a, lo a, a stretch, but. <laughs> a we'll little see. ambitious. A little ambitious, yeah. Well. Do you do you, do you think how easy would it be to even play a game during the live stream? Impossible. Well, how do um, you how how would you anticipate playing it to begin with? I, I kind of assumed okay. that we would each each have a board in our houses because we're COVID conscious, mm -hmm. and we Hous would play houses. Okay, whatever. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess my privilege is leaking or something. Um uh play in our dwellings mm -hmm. and <laughs> we would tell each other via webcams like what we're doing and the persons would mirror each other and go back and forth and mm -hmm. I don't yeah, think so I, we need to like see the dice because no no nobody I'm playing with I would think would lie about what their die rolls are, but like, yeah. Well, so, yeah. I mean, think about it this way. I mean, on my work table here, which I have stuff set up, I mean, I think I could put the board there. I could set up the teams. If I have... It is a pretty big board. It's bigger yes. than I thought when I first uh, conceived of it. it. You have it to show me? To show us? Okay, so that's sizable but like the <coughs> the ar <coughs> the arm i have i could raise the stuff high enough where i could see that and then i could have a separate camera where i could have a little box where i roll the dice in <coughs> yeah and i could even roll for both players or something and you just tell what you want to do and we could sort of just watch it I think that would be very easy to do. We could do it. I mean, the first time will probably be a disaster, but... Well, we should probably play one not on the stream first. <laughs> no, I think... Uh, well, but no one's no one watches. I mean... Well, yeah, that's true, too. I mean, I think Some it watch. would be funny. Some watch, and we're very appreciative of it. Thank you, yes. watchers. Yeah. I think it could be funny and fun. It would be funny. Have you read the rules to the, the Blitz balling? I have. That's impressive, man. Oh my god. It's a shame no one's using the Wood Elf team because I have those stupid Sylvanet dice that would be funny to roll those and you couldn't <laughs> tell what you couldn't tell what it says. Oh. V Var just mentioned that it's a board adopting the old play chess by email method. Yeah, well, and people used to play chess by mail too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Think, think about that. Yeah, I feel like we don't even pretty... play games at all. <laughs> <laughs> <And> people are. <laughs> yeah. 
So does it from having read the rules, Brad? It mm -hmm. looks like it is streamlined a little bit and quicker, or yeah, you basically can only do like three things a turn. Yeah, oh, okay. So like a run this far, like block, <laughs> like roll the block die. Does it still have turnovers? No, no, not really. No. Okay. No, nothing like it's a lot friendlier in that regard. That yeah. Like, <laughs> Well, but then you're just limited in the amount of things you can do. Yeah, and there's like no leveling up. Like the the second season added like these coach roles, which mm -hmm. is basically just seem to be kind of like give you free re rolls every now and then, sort of. Yeah. Okay. Sort of little little add on sort of rules. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's really it's 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 a lot simpler than Blood Bowl, <laughs> I would say. Uh, a vase that I'd be rolling double skulls no matter the medium. <laughs> well, skull, double skulls, I don't think are quite as bad in blue yeah, I, I feel that's the thing. It's like, ooh, but I have a reroll to like, skull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's Blood Bowl cool. right there. That's and I, cool. I Which, find the uh, the digital version is sort of funny. Because I feel, at least yeah. the little I played it, it seems like even more unforgiving. That dice randomizer cheats. Like, I don't care what anybody says. That's, that. what it, that's the way it seems to me. But regardless, even if it's legitimately randomized, I think something about being there in person with a friend and laughing through it is sort of therapeutic. Whereas if you're just watching some like poorly animated... <laughs> orcs or whatever kind of glitching around yeah. and you roll skulls and then you re-roll it and you get another skull it's just like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah well so eric you've been working more on the blood bowl players too right yeah Where i find a I, picture they're all laying I, on the ground yeah that's what happens to halflings <laughs> i think so now nah, but yeah I, I trimmed all the halflings and started to fill in some gaps, like with Milliput mm. and whatnot. I, I think assume, I'm just are you just using? For, there, there are a bunch of the halfling players that they don't have the little slots on their I feet. I think on, four of the twelve have slots, I believe. So the rest, I'm going to use them on. I'm standard. just putting them on. That's nice. standard thirty-two mils. I guess I'll pin them on, and I think I'm just going to glue them on to the bases immediately in in this yeah. sort of vain hope that i'm just i'm gonna paint them fast i'm gonna gonna do it guys you can hold me accountable <laughs> so, somebody on instagram instagram had a really nice like uh like pinstripe uniform for some half lean team that i thought looks like really nice yeah i was thinking about that and like do i really want to do pinstripes that seems hard yeah or maybe not on. so oh. much as hard as just more effort. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, so it if looks I want to like get this done, you were skull. You did some sculpting. Were you sculpting the one? Like I guess the one halfling model has like a, a ferret or whatever in its pants. Yeah, I cut that. Or I get the ferret was just you slotted it in there, so I just didn't put it in. But I had to like trim away the tail on his foot and that sort of thing. Oh, he's, uh, Burke's asking if he sees, uh, Wilhelm's forest dweller in one of the that photos. That is the forest dweller. I don't know. Here. Yeah. Here he is. Or you're gonna, and you're thinking of gonna paint, you're gonna paint him too, right? I think that was gonna be the next thing. Couldn't I he do. be like the tree golem or whatever for you? That's actually a good idea. Oh, what yeah. a good fuck. What an idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think it would be for Blitz Bowl, but when we no, but, oh, I think but maybe he could be the coach. He could be the, the bases, coach. <laughs> I think I put him on a forty millimeter base, so that's I guess probably too big. But I, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, it wouldn't matter. It's not that. Yeah, big so that's deal. yeah. This will be one of the tree men. It's a good great, yeah, it's like great idea. What I wanted to do, I've been watching uh, Vince Ventrella's some of his YouTube videos, like his painting videos mm -hmm. on online, and they're really good. And it has encouraged me to like try to do a more legitimate effort at Zenithal highlighting and like with not just black and white, but 
having some gray in there and whatnot and maybe try to do that and some glazing and whatnot and try to since he has so many roles and stuff <laughs> i feel he will be great mm -hmm. for doing that and really you know emphasizing the zenith or highlight portion whereas like the folds of his skin will stay darker and i figured yeah, like it would the, just be, there can be some pretty heavy shadows and stuff yeah i think it will be a good way to kind of test that out and then hopefully uh expand that to try to somewhat quickly paint the halflings yeah but no that is such a good idea because then yeah. it will have one of the two tree spirit things that you need to make the halflings well, I mean, if you wanted to convert it, you could even have, like, branches and stuff growing out of its back and stuff. That's true. Because that would be pretty creepy. Yeah. That is true. So it's just a well, consideration. That's a good idea. I mean, because it would be neat, like, to do your own slight thing with the model. Mm-hmm. Right out of his, one of his eyes. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Well, so yeah, yeah it's well, to consider. But yeah, that like is it. the forest dweller. Wow, From yeah, this Wilhelm the, miniatures. The um, the one where you re-sculpted and didn't glue on the stupid ferret. Like, boy, look at his shit-eating grin or whatever he has. That's him. Eric, you said, yeah, that is the, the forest dweller, but to me it sounded like you said the thought killer, and then I thought of fear is the mind killer. <laughs> is that, did I get that phrase right from the, the novel I didn't read? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, that's not it, Greg. It's not <laughs> it. <laughs> that's what it is, but that's not what I said, or didn't attempt yeah. to say. But yeah, so I filled in with Milliput there, filled in the hole where the ferret slotted in and started to like kind of build up the edge of his shirt and mm -hmm. zoom in on that um, lip of his pants. It, yeah. it, you'll zoom in yeah. to blurry because I took a yeah, bad it doesn't picture. Look great, but it looks, it's, it looks fine. So I started to sort of build up the shirt area, but I think I'm going to do more of that after it's solidified rather than. You could. Drill holes into where his eyes would be. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do that, but you could do it. I could. These are halflings. They don't need to look good. But they already <laughs> do. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're nice looking. Yeah. Now, Var mentions that there would be some good inspiration from the turn up 28 stuff for a branch laden forest dweller. Unsupervised darkness, Dave, he can probably give you some tips about things to do as well. Yeah, it's true, because he's been doing a bunch of turn up 28 stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I'll have to think about that. I'm sure I can do something relatively easily. And... Yeah, no, I think it oh. would actually work pretty well. I recently got some flocking material. Actually, I can send the picture. Yeah, that's cool. Like, I, does anybody remember when we first started the hobby? We got what we thought was flocking. It was like, it might have been. It was at probably like some train store oh, or something. That was terrible. And it was like just like almost like sawdust that they stained green. So when you'd like yeah. try and glue it on, the dye would like leach out into the glue and like it was a mess. It was really bad. <laughs> it was Woodland really bad. Scenics. This looks a lot better. It's really fine. I thought I might mix some of it. Um but it um it was recommended by um as like a good miniatures. flocking yeah so i'll maybe to do the bases i'll use that in combination with some of those like what is it like mini, mini nature moss pads oh yeah they're nice they're nice yeah, but i figured I having like good flocking rather than just like sand or something would be better but we'll see how it works We'll yeah. see how it works. 
maybe the it'll be fun to kind of figure out how to do the blood bowl bases they're all green and such very different from what i've worked on in the past i guess i have recently. a bunch of these slotted ones with the holes to put the ball on that i guess i could probably just try out some stuff with them because you know, They're for kind of garbage. Blitz Bowl, do you need any of, like, the stupid little coins and shit? You like... need one of each. Okay. Like, your fist and your coin, which yeah. you don't really, like, you could just use any counter, but mm -hmm. they give them to you, so. Yeah. Well, that's the real question. Are we going to paint those? Mm. I, that's not going to be... A major initial priority, <laughs> <laughs> but perhaps <laughs> I'm gonna convert mine. I'm probably not. Yeah, I don't know why you'd spend the time. Because you want to have your own special, unique team. That's fair. I mean, I, oh, could I see guess if the you other may... to it. It could be fun. I guess another thing that's maybe what's in. I ordered some Unreal Wargaming resin bases, primarily because they make made a like kind of an urban ruin sort of base, like flying base that I thought would be an easy way to get something for the Arvis lighter. Mm -hmm. And since they also make, they did a Kickstarter a little while back to make. Um, Adeptus bases, Titanicus essentially, bases. for Adeptus Titanicus. I decided I would get a few of them just to see what they're like. Damn, they look and really nice. So maybe this will encourage me to finish that War or Warhound Titan that you actually got me, Brad. Yeah. So it's almost, or it's largely painted, but I would probably want to do some more weathering and whatnot. And there's yeah, the other that's... one. There should be yeah. two, right? There is another one. I just yeah. haven't assembled it. How did but, you decide yeah. how to arm the little night titans, Eric? You don't have options. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say it's either <laughs> that or like you just. Yeah, that's no, cool. they gave you they in kind of a pathetic GW move. They gave you one of each, <laughs> and I think they give you one melt gun, but they mm. do give you enough for just all of the. Uh, heavy stubbers. So, I mean, I guess there's yeah. that. Yeah. But they the one great. little knight in the center, I made him to be posed kind of like the oh, Warhammer yeah. 40,000 knight I have. Yeah, it does look like that. That's cool. But I, I sort of don't want the knight I have. It just <laughs> sits behind me, judging me. It always will. Yeah. It like, I'm not will. gonna I'm not gonna paint it. Yeah. It may yeah. <laughs> but um, it you know, it is what it is. So I guess those are the interesting things on my end. So I'll continue doing sort of the gap filling and stuff. Or I mean I largely did the gap filling on the halflings. I just need to probably do a little bit more on the pants and stuff for that the ferret one. <laughs> Are there two like that? Yeah, there are, right? There are two. Do they yeah. have different heads or are they the they same? Have different, they have different heads. That's good. Yeah, that's so. Good. Well, that's we'll good progress. I'm mm -hmm. impressed. Brad, have you had a chance to do any work on anything? Well, I. I was working on a sprue of the Blood Bowl works, oh, that's and good. I I finished one sprue, so they're ready for Blitz Bowl. Damn. Um. Yeah, that's that was that was basically it. Since you read uh, the rules for Blitz Bowl, I read the rules for Blitz Bowl. That's impressive. that's so. I guess the real question me. is: Does this mean you went to a Barnes and Noble or something? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, crazy. <laughs> crazy. So I heard rumor that the Barnes and Noble in Inner Harbor, Baltimore, is going to close. Mm. I'd believe it. I yeah. would believe it too. 
It's hard. If Blitz Bowl was there, I'd rush puzzles. down there tomorrow. It's hard to make a living selling puzzles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Isn't oh. that the truth? Mm-hmm. Isn't that the truth? Such truth. Um, well, okay, so um, I don't even know. What are we going to talk about now? Do we want to look on the Warhammer community page? All I know is I do not want to talk about action figures. Wait, did that's we talk like about the only thing that was put figures? on the community page. I don't want to talk about them. Oh, like the Space Marine action figures? Oh, they are. Yeah. What about the McFarlane action figures? That's, that's, them, that's what he's referring to. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's talk about them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about them. Yeah, they not. look worse than they they reverted to like the proportions of standard Space Marines. Like how did that happen? Like the hit yeah, figure. God, well, one thing that's not them. not referring to it, this sort of thing, we could at least briefly mention that we have a new episode of our podcast on the blog and where podcasts are located. That's true. <laughs> for Dragon Turbo Lasers for a uh, chat we had with Anvils of Conor about 30k Space Marines and stuff like that. So shameless plug, people could listen to that. Um yeah, no, it's true. But it was it was fun. It was nice to talk with him about about stuff. Well, if we don't want to talk about action figures, we could talk about... So those new action figures are made by McFarlane Toys, so like Todd McFarlane that mm-hmm. created Spawn. Um, next week... Or is it next? Yeah, next week, issue 310 of Spawn is released. That's 310. That's a lot of issues of Spawn. Jesus, that is a lot. Yeah. Um, a lot of issues of Spawn. I'm sure you've been keeping up on spawn for a while now greg i know all about spawn lore the latest arc was killer (laughs) i honestly didn't read any arcs spawn yeah no i can't say i have either alan moore wrote an issue at the beginning issues or something and neil gaiman did too and he created a character in there that then there were legal battles for years ago (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh my god damn and then he finally i think neil gaiman finally got the rights back and then promptly sold the rights to the character to like marvel or something oh my god <laughs> oh wow oh bar you caught it live thanks it's nice to see that you know some people have been able to catch it live i guess it's just hard because it is a pretty global community. It's hard to find good times for this sort of thing. But yeah, if you were watching it live, I wonder if that means that you're in the United States and got up pretty damn early, or if you're in the UK and you're up like far too late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, but ultimately, like, we appreciate the support. Yeah. Um, well, the so real question, Spawn, Brad, to like, call you out, did you listen to any of it, Brad? No. When was it When was it uh, recorded? Saturday. Today's only Tuesday. I, I know. I'm just, just this. There wasn't much time. And admittedly, it only went up like yesterday. So. Like Sunday, I had to go to Barnes & Noble. Like, I didn't have, <laughs> you have to go and buy many copies of yeah. the Blitz Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Scotland, that is pretty late. Well, well thanks for being with us here tonight. Yeah. So wait a minute. You went to Barnes & Noble to get, was season two of Blitz Bowl? Yeah. Yes, yes, because it okay. was... And and I, I won't disclose the location because they broke street date. But um <laughs> when is oh, so it new? It was Monday. Oh, okay. okay, that's fine. Those yeah. assholes. <laughs> yeah. Well, so yeah. was season one also something that was just in select yeah. stores? Yeah. Okay. Select Barnes and Noble. Select Barnes and Noble, yeah. And like I, it's it's kind of funny because we could talk about uh, they made another game like um, with the uh, 
the uh, the blind grab space marines. The oh, blind, yeah, 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 and like it's so like they called the, the expansion like the rise of the orcs, and it doesn't yeah. even have a single orc model. Like <laughs> okay, it has Necron like Terminators thing, have no Necron. Yeah, something, something like that. So yeah. I'll I be, think... I'll, I have a confession to make. Weeks ago, when when maybe when we first had you on the stream, Brad, and we started talking about Blood Bowl, you mentioned mm -hmm. the notion about playing Blitz Bowl. For some reason, I thought that that was a game that some other company made. Oh. And it was not just... It's game. not Dreadball. Yeah, Guild so Ball I... is a dead game, Adam. They but there are other that... ones. And there's also Guild Ball and other shit. I just assumed it was Adam. another related game. And... Guild Ball is dead. <laughs> is it? Guild <laughs> yeah. Ball is dead. They, they, they stopped the game. The, the creators wrote a letter to the fans saying the fans killed it basically <laughs> that's what i largely heard that oh the fans God. like uh broke the game and that they wrote the game so well and it was so fine-tuned and people didn't play me? it right and oh they my God. I don't want to deal with it anymore or something to that effect i mean i'm Oh, hey, damn. full disclosure i didn't read the, the 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 message but i think a lot of the fans were i don't know pretty miffed. not too happy yeah considering the game i think was pretty good and it was very tactical and whatnot but to hear wow. the, the reasoning were poor <laughs> oh my god yeah so brad uh, if i had realized what it it is what it actually is i would have been much more excited about it no oh. So, yeah, wow. I just had no idea what it was. Well, I guess we can just wait in three years until the next Guild Ball Kickstarter. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah I mean, I will can happen. see it. Yeah. I could see it. Wow. Well, so do you think Blitz Ball was like just trying to them trying to experiment and modify the rules a little to like see if people the like car. that and if Look they around. did so then they'd go and make this newer edition of blood bowl with more significant rule changes or something i'm pretty sure uh like it was it is it james hewitt i think so yeah, I think like he's the one who like wrote the rules for it, and I think he tells the story of how it came about. And I don't remember it, but I think you might be kind of right that like this is something. That's a good like, story, Brad. Yeah, thank. Yeah, um, I like want to drink their Starbucks lattes in Barnes and Noble and play a tactical sports game. Well, I'm not sure if that was. I'm not sure if that's what he originally like. Uh, well, wow. planned for it to be, but in like that's between, in between reading a copy of a uh, Winston Churchill biography. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Legit. Yeah. It's legit. That's legit. But so season two, what it comes with the dumb looking human team, and are those the dwarves? Yeah. Okay. So uh, something I heard on the internet, which I, I guess I can confirm a little bit, is that unbelievably to most, they recut the dwarf sprue to be snap fit. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, why for this limited release? Like, I don't know if they're like people on the internet claimed that like the original one was not snap fit. But like this one is. Uh, Wait, Baller like, says it was a community stripped down way back. Then James done the Blood Bowl rule set and off as it. Yeah, that's cool. Well, so do we even know when was the first Blood Bowl released? It was a long time ago, right? Long, long time like, ago. Like you mean right? first, first Blood Bowl? Yeah. Early nineties, I think. Okay. I would have said eighties. Uh, maybe that. Lot? Maybe the sec Actually, I think the second season was the early nineties. Okay. So yeah, you're right. 
The one with the ogre with the punch spike or whatever on the cover. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well. 86, it was released. It was first released when we were born. Well, so then I have a question. So in this, the, the game, this box game of it, does the, does it come with the cards for the different teams or no? Yes. Like just the ones the that so not all the teams, right? It doesn't yeah. come with ogres or snotlings, and probably like one other team that I can't think of. But, but it had like, it has cards for teams. They don't give you plastic models for. No, they do give you plastic models. They just give you like. No, the no, no, I'm, I'm. Saying, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. That's um, so it's not just plastic. they're in the rule book. They're, they're, they're well, they're, they aren't in the rule book. They're just on these cards. Oh, okay. So. Or says a lot of European folk unhappy that Blitz was exclusive. Yeah, that sort of seems bullshit. Yeah. Like, so does that mean like you literally if you couldn't buy it? Yeah. Yeah, the UK can't get it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I think Germans can get it in German, but that's it. Because huh. <laughs> yeah. I think it's, I think the people and like the independent character podcasts are like all the rage about it. Okay. Unless it was the Preferred Enemies podcast. <laughs> <laughs> One of those podcasts. <laughs> We're all jammed about it, thinking it's like the greatest thing. Huh. That's so... That's really disappointing. Yeah. Or well, do you why... want us to get it for us? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can get you a copy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah don't, that's, that's... don't be too cocky, Adam. Like People snatch it up. I mean, that's why you rushed out to buy them. That's why I rushed. I rushed out. For a copy for you, Var, if you want it. Yeah. I mean, we can't guarantee that it will be present, but we can look for a copy. Yeah, that seems really dumb. I, but I guess yeah, maybe they just... It, are the dice in it, are they the same dice or are they new dice? There's uh, a picture well, here. Like, what do you mean by new? Like, I don't know the color. Like, if it's it, it's a. I mean, are they the same? Die. Do they have the same? It's the same symbols. symbols. Yeah. It's just they, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if it's like this reused from the core set. Yeah, that like, I, don't I, don't, care, I don't. I don't. I'm know. just. I was. I guess just trying to assess like how much is it like the original game. It's not mo like it uses a lot of the elements, but I feel. Like the complexity of it is not mm -hmm. as hard at all, yeah. That's which is nice because the game's the game's supposed to be less than an hour. So, like, hallelujah! Do you have it's six people on the pitch all the time? Looks uh, like it. Yeah, or... sixteen people on the pitch. <laughs> so you yeah, don't it, you don't have like a sideline of t people then? Uh, people can go like there's that little dugout area you see. Like one of the roles, which I think it's the um, the down with uh, the critical down, maybe I'll just call it that. Don't know my block dice. Um, that one like sends the people off the pitch into that reserve box, mm -hmm. um, and that's like what like you know that's how you get players like the bash. They still have kind of like bashy teams, right? Like. Mm -hmm try to bash people off after they fail an armor save yeah um sort of yeah. deal um but yeah i think like there isn't even like a reset after you score a touchdown i'm pretty sure it's mm -hmm. like you like there's this trap door on the board and like like when a ball when you score a touchdown like i think the scoring player actually gets put in reserve because he's off celebrating or something oh my God. and like a ball just gets like put where the trap door is. And <laughs> if a guy's standing on the trap door, I'm pretty sure he gets in the reserves because he got flung like <laughs> into the stands or something. <laughs> no, fucking yeah. Nuffle. Yeah, Nuffle. Nuffle. That's what you guys need to do. You need to do a priest of Nuffle conversion. <laughs> like, what would that even look like? I don't even yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, Wait, what's no one Nuffle? Nuffle's like the. God of, I don't know. A blood bowl, blood yeah. Bowl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Greg, that's why you roll a lot of uh, double skulls because you don't know about Nuffle. It's not blessing your dice. 
Duffel ball. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah. So I think it would be fun to try. I think it's the fact that it's shorter, smaller board. I think makes it a little bit more doable over the internet play. Yeah. Um, so maybe we can try and stream a game here. It would be a riot, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, largely, I already have a place set up that I could do it, so mm -hmm. I have the cameras and everything. Um, yeah. So we'll see. Need to drink your blood wiser when praising Nuffle. <laughs> <laughs> and you eating your big moot sandwiches. <laughs> Yeah. God, I don't know anything about Blood Bowl. Not anymore. I, I was thinking about picking up the Black Library Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, getting, getting deep in the Blood Bowl lore. Oh, yeah. boy. <laughs> so, when are they going to release a Norse team? Never. Never, you think? They, they when they do, I'll the probably North. praise Nuffle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> praise Nuffle. I don't know. I guess. I want. Would the new the season, most. maybe that. It's They're certainly an opportunity. There's a Blood Bowl novel called Dead Ball by Matt Forbeck. In a fantasy kingdom where violence is a way of life, the number one sport is Blood Bowl. Gridiron football where anything goes. Dirk Dunk Hoffnug has already tasted the high life as a star Blood Bowl player, but now he has to start all over again in the Goblin Leagues. The <laughs> only way to describe this Black Library classic oh. is riotous. All the fan favorite races from the Warhammer world are thrown into a football game to the death. Ogres, Goblins, Elves, and Tremen duke it out to be the winners of the FA Cup. If you love American football and irreverent puns, there's even a character named David Deckham or David Deckham. This book must be read <laughs> for you. Who's David Deckham? David Beckham, like Ben yeah. like Beckham. Yeah, who's that? He's a soccer player. Okay. Mm. David Deckham. I think he. I think he married one of the Spice Girls. Oh. I'm sure someone in the chat will verify. Uh, <laughs> I have no uh, idea. I never paid attention. I to think that, that sounds right to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he married Victoria something or other, singer, fashion designer, TV personality. She rose to prominence in the 90s as a member of the girl group Spice Girls. She's paused. He, he married Posh, Posh Spice. Posh, yeah. Good times. Good times. Good times. Well, Brad, I, I assume when you were at Barnes & Noble, you got some of these other cool games like Crypt Hunter? I didn't buy any of the other games. But I did, <laughs> like, like uh, we were talking about this, like they did have a copy of Combat Arena there. Huh. Yeah. And I don't know if that's something like, they, so they just kind of released their last expansion for Blackstone Fortress, right? Are they going to just, like, drop all that stuff? I guess. I like, should guess. I be panic buying, like, cool models for conversions? Like, what's the thought? I, hmm. They probably I won't stop making them. the Blackstone Fortress version that has those models, right? I think they will. You can't buy Silver Tower anymore. That's fair. Yeah, you're right. But do you even would you even want any of that stuff? That's the real question. Do I don't you make know. Conversions. I suffer from uh, FOMO quite a bit, though. <laughs> you're so... missing out, but you're not yeah. gonna miss out because even if you get it, you never yeah, do anything with it. I bought four copies of Rise of the Orcs. <laughs> 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 but um. No, that's actually a good point, Brad. They probably it's pro they probably don't make it anymore. You're right. So That's like if you were ended, like I feel it never 
went anywhere. Yeah, I don't feel like it met its true potential. Like, I think the expansions and stuff they had were good, like, that they had. Except for the, the Amble Amble came one. back. Yeah, yeah. Well, that Low was garbage. Effort. The Amble came back. The, uh, what's the other one? The big dude. Um, the other alien. The Zoe. The, the Zoe. Zoe. Like, yeah, so, that was like, great. Yeah. Well, all the expansions, I think, had relevant or most of them were pretty good. It's just, I don't think it ever The reached. Zote's here in a bag. I have a bag of the Zote. I don't think it reached the, the glorious heights that it could have. Like, it ended with some some spindle drones. Yeah. I mean, they're cool-looking spindle drones, and I love the spindle drones, but it didn't explore weird Xeno stuff or... I Actually, important news. Dave confirms that it was posh. <laughs> <laughs> and Bar has some important news for you too, Brad. Bye. Bye, bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good GW fan. That's that's, that's right. That's right. my favorite part of the hobby is buying. That's that's my favorite part of the hobby. <laughs> Well, we actually play. I, Adam, and I, and such. We actually played through all of the first season of Blackstone Forge. That's a thing that she did. did it all. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. So I don't know. We didn't do more than that, though. But we did do that. Play through it. Did so? Do you think? Do you like Blackstone Fortress better than? Like Silver Tower, like which would you say is better? Uh and did you play the Hammer Hall one? Did you like that one? I didn't play that much. Maybe once with you. Not me. Well, then I was there when you got it while we were playing the other one. Or... That's right. I buy. <laughs> 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 it's in my basement. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I think both are pretty good. I almost think Black or Silver Tower was better. Yeah, that's kind of how I felt too with Blackstone Fortress. I mean, I still like Blackstone Fortress. I think Blackstone Fortress, it'd be cool if I mean, my hope is that they make a second one or something and start even if it was slightly different, wasn't in the same Blackstone Fortress or something, but continue to explore different avenues like this, but make it more into like a more substantial dungeon crawl thing, like make it more like Descent or uh, what's the Star Wars game? Imperial Assault? Yeah, Imperial Assault, or even like Gloomhaven or something where there was more substantial character progression and things like that like i feel it's it starts out nicely that you have a lot of options and abilities and stuff but like after one or two games like you've experienced all of it kind of so i have big news for everybody i'm looking at games workshop site online at least the american site for blackstone fortress and first of all the dreaded amble is sold out online. It says no longer available online. And the the main game is temporarily out of stock online. It's gone forever. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's a bad Bye, story. bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, I th- I think I'm going to bed. Like I I was up at four this morning. Yeah. I'm tired. All and right, great. Well, it was nice having you here. Go to bed too far. Because it's like it's late. It's practically like 3 30 a.m. where you are, I think. It's pretty early. Or late, depending on how you want to look at it. But I mean, what we're talking about is so insightful. <laughs> <laughs> I so find weird. what is weird to me a little bit about so the second major expansion ascension it came with a bunch of models and like very substantial escalation like very substantial additional scenarios and things and it was 110 dollars, which still seemed like kind of a lot but it, it was a lot of additional play kind of materials in the newest expansion 
is actually just a second. Thanks cost. for being with us, Var. Good luck with the rest of your day. Yeah, thanks. Praise Nuffle. Praise. <laughs> but yeah, I find it a little bit interesting that. So yeah, wait. The new the new one is called Ascension. That's the same price uh, as the second one, which was Escalation. And so I mean, maybe it's a really substantial additional amounts of scenarios. Like I don't know. It doesn't but it's look just like the it. two models. It it doesn't look like it to me either. So I don't know. It it seems a little odd. Like that seems like a lot of money for. What has the Guardian drones? Fifteen new exploration cards. Five new encounters. Resource cards. Eleven board tiles. Fifty. So I don't. Yeah. I just kind of think they can get away with it because if you've been buying them all up until that point, you're not yeah. going to buy the last one. Well, but then I almost think they're like, oh, well, we're not selling the other stuff. So if you ever wanted that Zote, if you don't buy it now, and the same thing with these cool larger spindle drones. So you should really get them sometime because they're awesome. I like them a lot. Yeah. The I'm just surprised. Like. Down. I'm surprised they never like released like a card pack or something that let you use like other characters know, and like, like where, other I, bad I, guys. I was I thought for sure they were gonna do that. Bring it space seems... in. <sighs> probably. Yeah. I wouldn't be excited about it, but probably. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean they did like in White Dwarf, they did a fairly decent job of like adding some content. Mm -hmm. like they add like you can use the um greater possessed as like an enemy and stuff and yeah, that's okay. sort of, but never like like never added new heroes i don't well they yeah. did the assassins i guess but well because they did a, like that was a major component of silver tower kind of yeah that's what i liked about it probably the most is that you look through your collection and you're like Oh, mm -hmm. I have that model. I can do yeah. something with it. Yeah. And like it, it more encouraged me to think about buying. I never did, but I thought about buying some of the neater kind of like independent characters. Yeah. That they released, yeah. like that one little assassin model that you made a conversion with. Like mm -hmm. it was very close to pushing me over the edge of getting that, like as a reason, but. Managed then, to save uh, off that mistake. somehow, somehow, <laughs> um, but just never did with Blackstone Fortress. So I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, it just seems like missed, missed potential. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So I guess now I have to get back to those action figures. Oh, oh no, <laughs> we're not. We already talked about that shit. <laughs> what about the battle zone bonanza? Is that oh, just one of the? I still the... think it's a little weird that they decided to release a new terrain kits so close to other ones that I thought were really good. Is it actually new? <laughs> yeah, it's that new. new. It's new stuff. I guess what I think is weird is that they never released the for the new edition of forty k rules digitally. Oh yeah. So, and therefore, like it's the probably the first edition since since second edition that I we didn't buy. <laughs> 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 so like do you do you have do you have like that 40k app i never got it no i, never, I didn't even know I, I know is it I'm such that it might be available in that app and just it's not on their store i mm. think it could possibly be it's available in that app to some extent certainly mm. i don't know if it has all of it because was that like the subscription model like yeah. weird kind of bullshit i think Almost certainly that's why they didn't release it as a like a digital thing because they thought it would encourage people to, you know, get that. 
which I mean, maybe it, it probably did for some, but not me. I, it just resulted in me not getting it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't even know if I, I would even call myself a 40K player anymore. I would I'm, not call myself yeah, such no, a thing, no, no. ever. Like, I play, like, I might as well say I'm an Age of Sigmar because I play just as much. <laughs> um, yeah, that's something. Makes you yeah, smile. no, it's 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 weird because I mean I w I wouldn't have minded because it looked like there could have been some nice artwork in there and some of the sort of crusade campaign rules sounded somewhat interesting. I wouldn't I would have been at least vaguely interested in seeing like what they did that sort of thing, but like, nope. So nope. <laughs> Not for yeah. you, Eric. Not for us. Yeah, Not for us. That's fine. We have enough other stuff to worry about. Yeah, it, it saves us money, I guess. Thanks, GW. You made that easy. <laughs> Thanks, GWs. Looking out for us. Mm hmm. Making the hard choices a lot easier. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, well, I don't think we have anything else to talk about. Yeah, I don't. I don't have much to say. Yeah. So I mean, not... I guess with that in mind, we could just uh, call the stream to a close too. We could do that. Works for me. All right, everyone. Well, thanks for joining with us to hear us sort of ramble on about, I guess, mainly Blitzball, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so hopefully it means relatively soon we'll try and play a game, maybe even try and play it on stream one of these times. Um, it's bound to be a riot. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that means we need to get a copy. Well, Brad has them, and I'm I maybe have... I'll just buy one of the ones Brad has. Yeah, he'll, he'll get my one copy. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe even this week if you want to. Mm -hmm. If you want happen. to. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, thanks everyone for joining us. Thanks, Dave, for being here with us, chatting with mm -hmm. us. Um, we will talk to everyone again soon. Keep on enjoying the hobby, whatever part of the hobby that is. Painting, assembling, reading, buying, whatever. Have fun. We'll talk to you again soon. Over and out. Yep. See you, everybody.